Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to define inheritance in OOPS concept if you are getting this question in your interview. What should be included in while answering this question? Okay, but before starting this video, I have a little announcement. I'll cover that then. I promise I won't interrupt and will continue with this video. Guys, if you are preparing for GATE, then I have an announcement for you. An Academy is going to launch six new batches for CSEIT, Mechanical, Civil, Chemical, Electrical, ECE. <clears throat> and these batches are going to start from 24th of November. And you know the best part? You can apply the coupon code TEL10 to get 10% discount on these courses. So instead of 32,450, you need to pay only 29,205 for 12 months subscription. You can enroll it now. These batches are for GATE 2023. So all links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. And one more announcement. GATE and ESE Mega Combat. Up to 100% scholarship and exciting reward, which is starting on 28th of November at 11 a.m. 500 lucky participants stand a chance to win Apple iPad Mini, Fitbit Versa 2, JBL speaker, JBL headphone, Amazon voucher worth up to 10,000. Top 200 rankers per stream can get up to 100% scholarship on plus subscription. Combat now available on web as well. So you can access it at both the places, Android or web, as per your comfort. The test will be completely live. There will be 20 questions, 60 minutes. And yeah, it is free of cost. If you are using the coupon code TEL10 and enrolling it, then you'll get it free of cost. So remember, the test is live. It cannot be taken later. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check it out. All links are there in the description. Now let's jump into this video. The famous definition for inheritance. If someone asks you what comes in your mind, a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behavior of a parent object. Means if a child class is inheriting properties and behavior of a parent class, then this mechanism is called inheritance. How can we achieve it? It can be easily achievable by using the keyword extends. So if you are using the keyword, the class name, class, class name, extends, another class name, parents class name. So, so the child class will be inheriting the property of the parent class. Okay. Now in interview, you need to also tell what are the type of inheritance, single, multi-level, hierarchical. Okay. And the important question, why do we need inheritance? So. The whole idea of inheritance came into picture for reusability. So basically, if you want to reuse a method, then you can inherit it. So as you remember in my previous lecture where I was telling about polymorphism, the whole idea of polymorphism came for flexibility and inheritance came for reusability. That's all. That's it, what you need to answer in an interview. <coughs> now let's check it out programmatically, how we can cover this part. So basically this inheritance is a concept of a, a kind of a is a relationship. So here you can see I have declared a parent class and I'm extending this parent class in the child class. There are some basic rule of inheritance. Rule number one, Whatever the parent has by default available to the child, but whatever the child has by default not available to the parents. Hence, on the child reference, on the child reference, you can call both parent and child class method. But on the parent reference, you can only call parent class, but you cannot call child specific method. Point number two is parent class reference can be used to hold child class object. But child class reference cannot be used to hold parent class object. So by using the parent reference, you can call only method available in the parent class. But with parent reference, you cannot call child class methods. These are the basic rule of inheritance. 
In Java programming, multiple or hybrid inheritance is supported through interface. You know interface. If you don't know, please check out the video. I have already uploaded what is interfaces in Java. You can get an idea why the interface came into picture. So in Java class, we cannot support multiple inheritance. Why we can't support multiple inheritance in Java class? Because consider a scenario where A, B, C are three classes and C class inherits A and B classes. If A and B class have the same method and you call it from the child class object, there will be ambiguity to call the method of A and B. Interfaces have dummy declaration and they won't have implementation, hence no ambiguity problem is there. But here, suppose a C child class is inheriting two parent class, then while I'll call, I'll be calling that method, it will get confused. Which parent should I reach? That's why we cannot achieve it. But if you go through the in in interface slide, interface video, then you'll find out there I have told like in interface, Suppose because you are not declaring anything, every implementation is in child class. So they are basically directly hitting the child class and they are taking up the implementation of the child class and there is no ambiguity problem. So for better understanding, please watch that video of inheritance. Then you will get a clear picture. Now the important question, why do we need it? Reusability and for method overriding. As you remember in my previous lecture, to override a method, I need to extend the parent class. So without inheritance, how can we achieve method overriding? Tell me, how? We can't, right? So to implement this overriding method functionality, we need to have inheritance. Okay, so this is the basic uh, advantages or need to use an inheritance in Java or in OOPS. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative to you. If it was informative to you, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.